What's up, Water Signs, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of you guys out there are doing well. So today, you guys, this is going to be a twin flame reading. I've already kind of shuffled through the cards and some cards came out. So I want to kind of get the overall energy of the reading. This is going to be a conversation between the runner and the chaser. So the first card we have here is the number 33. These are twin flame angel numbers. It says you and your twin are on the same page and it's a very strong sign that the runner has healed and reunion is near. So if you guys are seeing the number 33 at this time, or if you, you know, maybe seeing this in the future, it's a good indication that you and your twin are starting to elevate and you're elevating possibly on the same level here and you're on the same page. And this is a sign that possibly this runner in this connection has healed. You know, they've healed enough in, in order for you guys to possibly come back in to union so reunion for some of you guys could be near especially if you've been in separation with your twin right now so just remember if you're seeing the number 33 that's a strong indication that reunion is, is near then we have 313 how you receive the life you desire is based on your ability to communicate open your ears and heart to new wisdom so at this time water signs cancer scorpio pisces you guys could be receiving downloads you could be seeing different numbers, synchronicities, maybe seeing things in pairs, butterflies, feathers. It's like you've been seeing different, you know, synchronicities. And I feel like this is the universe way of trying to communicate with you. And it's like your ability to be able to receive this information by opening your ears and your heart. You know, so possibly you can be getting these type of indications about your twin flame reunion. So I feel like also when you and your twin come back into reunion, it's going to be different how you communicate. And I feel like when this person opens up to you guys and wants to express themselves, you're going to have to open. You're going to have to listen with open ears and an open heart. You know, this is not the time to play the blame game. And I mean, it's okay for you to express yourself and how they made you feel on this journey. But this is not the time to play the blame game. This is the time to listen you know, so you can understand truly what your twin was going through. And then you guys can heal this situation together. Okay, so these could have been some obstacles or challenges within this journey. It says, when I feel insecure, I put on a false mask to hide who I really am. So I feel like in this twin flame journey, in the beginning or currently, it's like you're realizing that your twin, your divine masculine or feminine, you know, could be very insecure. And this person... They put on a mask. I feel like this person wore a mask throughout the whole journey. And this is something that this person has to heal. It's something that they could be dealing with from their past or from their current situation. You know, that, that maybe they're ashamed of. Maybe they're embarrassed. And so this person has to put on a mask and to hide who they truly are. And then we have here, and I don't feel good about myself. I become needy and clingy towards others. So I feel like one of you guys in this connection could have became a little needy, a little clingy with your twin. This also could have caused your twin to run, you know, because they didn't want, you kind of clung on to them. You know, you was like, this is mine, and you clamped on to their ass. You know what I'm saying? And so you could have been a little bit needy or a little bit clingy for your twin. So let's get into this twin flame conversation. What messages do you have for my water signs? That's on the twin flame journey spirit. Okay, so we have here from the chaser. If I can't figure this out now, this will have this will taken or this will be taken to the next lifetime. So I feel like the chaser now is realizing, you know, they could be seeing signs of synchronicities, knowing that this reunion could be near, but it's like maybe they're having a hard time figuring out like what they want to do. Because you know, throughout this journey, when you're in separation from your twin, you one day you like, oh, if my twin come back, you know, we can make things right. And then the next day you like, oh, fuck that motherfucker, I don't want to be with them. So I feel like right now with this card here, it says you are, are you, you are too much in your head today. What is your heart feeling? So I feel like this chaser has been a, been in their head a lot. And they've been thinking about this connection, like what their next move is going to be or what their reaction is going to be when this runner comes back. And it's like, you know, this, this chaser is feeling like, like maybe this situation is not going to play out. Maybe things are not going to work out this lifetime. Because, you know, you and your twin, it's like if both people have to do the work in order for you guys to reunite. 
So I feel like, and you know, if you don't, then it'll be the next lifetime. You know, or the next lifetime before you guys are able to come into union. So I feel like this chaser is losing hope. Maybe they're doing a lot of thinking. They're overthinking instead of listening to their heart and deciding what does their heart really feel about their twin in this situation. What messages do you have for my water signs today, sweetie? What messages do you have for my water signs? Then we have... I hate my twin. I love my twin. I don't want to be with my twin. I want my twin flame in my life. So remember I just said a second ago, this chaser is like, this this person is constantly in their head. It's like one minute they want their twin. They're like, yes, we can work this out. And the next minute they're like, man, fuck that motherfucker. So it's like, you can't figure out exactly what you want to do. But it's like, don't be too much in your head because guess what? Your, this runner has not come in and say anything so it's like you can't you have to let go of your control issues because you can't control what your thoughts are going to be or what you're going to say because when this person really comes in and apologize it's like whatever you have or you thought you were going to be feeling or whatever you was going to say that shit going to go totally different you know what i'm saying because this is going to be a very emotional and a very intense conversation so I feel like you can't prejudge or already have thought out a plan. You know what you want to say. You're just going to have to wait until that time unfolds. Then we have here, uh, why are you acting challenged or competitive? So I feel like in the past, maybe this runner was like a challenge. It was like it was somebody you really couldn't understand or break, but it was like, but you still kind of like that this person had like a little curiosity or they, they were mysterious. But I feel like this person was too mysterious. It was like everything about them was a damn challenge. It was like you just can answer a question and get a straight answer. It's like they always were challenging in everything that they did. Give me more information for my water signs. All I want to do is sleep. I need to start feeling emotionally better right now. So I feel like this chaser, which could be this divine feminine right now, it's like she's going through a lot. And he or she, you know, was going through a lot through this connection. It's like I feel like they're in their head also in particular about this runner possibly because we see this runner ain't really said too much so that's possibly how this connection has been right now they have not heard much from possibly their divine masculine in this situation so i feel like it's causing this divine feminine to kind of be out all up in their head they're not they're emotional one day they hate their twin one day they love their twin but I feel like they're feeling a lot of restless, having a lot of sleepless nights. And it's like emotionally, they are trying to get themselves together. So it's going to be all right, Divine Feminine. Just breathe, meditate, and just take your time. It's going to come together. All right, you guys. That's all I have. Please like, share, and subscribe.